Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, we have had a busy day on splitting some wood and logging some wood up. Um, this isn't this is just an update video really. It's not uh not doing a how-to on how to split wood because I'm sure there's plenty of people gonna criticize me for um, where my hands were and things like that when the splitter. So uh, yeah, this is our setup anyway. We basically use a, a Brown's 10 ton vertical log splitter and we split it and chuck it straight into these IBC totes or stillages um, with the plastic center removed. Um, I just find this is the easiest way for us to do it really. Everyone's different. Um, yeah, put a, put a bit of a log on the uh, bottom of the splitter there, which just raises the pieces up um, and you'll probably see in some of the footage um, if I'm struggling to split one vertically because it's slightly long, I just put it on the flat and chop it. I can I can chop stuff in half with this thing. It's so strong. Um, it saves getting the chainsaw out again, and is a bit pretty. Yeah, it's probably the easiest way of doing it. To be fair. Um, so yeah, we've done a few stillages today. I think we did two and two thirds, something like that. Um, we can do two or three in a morning depends on how much you've got to log up basically so I'll just flip the camera around and you can see this is the pile that we've been getting through we're probably about a third of the way through this pile there was some really big stuff in here it's a bit of a mix really and there still is some really big stuff uh, it's a mix oak um, there's even fir and uh, some beech and all sorts really but a nice mix of firewood i think uh, any small bits i'm just chucking to the side which will go through the chipper um, the rest is all getting split for us just to use as uh, wood for heating so we pretty much heat our whole house now off wood uh, which is great uh, we've got a ray burn and then a multi-fuel thermal store uh, 250 liters and we can run the Rayburn into that and it has a hot water heat exchanger in it. Well, external, it's an external heat exchanger. And we use that for um, all our hot water and it runs the rads. And we have a three slash four bedroom house, depending on which way you want to look at it. And living room, large kitchen. And it, it comfortably does that. Um, even in winter, we don't have majorly cold weather you know, really, really loads of minus temperatures. We're West Wales and it's actually surprisingly mild. So we have thick stone walls that are about a meter, well, 900-ish thick in most places. So uh, although it's hard to heat the house, it is a bit of an insulator. Weirdly, if we, once you get the house hot, it will stay hot for quite a while, which is good. Um, so I'll just run you up to the top now and I think we'll have a look at um, how we're stacking the stillages and how many we've done so far and then up here we've got the stillages of wood so we've got uh, five up here now it's taken us um, well we haven't been on it we've been on it two days but we haven't really been on it full time it takes us we timed how long it took us to do a stillage it takes us about 30 to 40 minutes to split one um, about 30 minutes for a, for an easy split uh, where you've got a couple of really big pieces and you split them a few times and the stillage starts to fill up quite quick. When you've got quite a lot of small fiddly stuff, um, it can take a little bit longer. And then I think I worked out, I go through about a tank of fuel in uh, my chainsaw, uh, a Husqvarna 454 Rancher, if anyone cares about chainsaws. And what I found was I'm going through about a tank of juice and that'll fill about two stillages so and it's taken me probably about half an hour to cut all that wood again if it's all in one place it's nice and easy i can cut two silages in 30 minutes um, if it's sporadic all over a lot of small cuts 
it could take me nearly up to an hour to do the same so but on average we're working out worst case scenario we're around about an hour to produce one cubic meter uh, so one cube of uh, firewood so I don't think that's too bad because you know when you think about it, it's an hour and one stillage will last us uh, in spring and autumn we burn about one stillage a month and in winter we could burn two stillages in a month so you know one of these only lasts two weeks um, because we can burn that much timber especially if you're putting it in overnight and banking it down and then starting it and it, you know there's times where our ray burners is on for a few days at a time and then we only turn it off to clean it out and sometimes in the morning even when it's still running i'll just slide out the ash at the bottom and then chuck it on the compost heap or um, spread it around uh, where we're going to be doing some planting so yeah that's about the update really so that's it everyone thanks for watching the video if you've got a second and you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button uh, if you can give us a thumbs up that'll be great as well and we'll see you on the next video